Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's video. I hope you all enjoy the Commodore 64 game of day, but we're going to be looking at this today. Something I bought off Amazon. Oops, I dropped it. It's a £15.98 handheld game. So this is from Amazon as mentioned. And if you want to buy this yourself, it's the Zishan Portable Handheld Game Console. Built in 318 classic retro old style video games. Perfect for holiday or travel entertainment. Surprise birthday gift for children and adults that is the longest title i've ever saw anyway so i thought i'd give this a go this is a basically a nez on a blob or nez on a chip a chinese cheap uh, game boy style thing so easy user manual and uh, yeah uh, it's not in very good english uh, let's have a look uh, some games may have multiple versions and do not represent a game repetition different versions increase the map and different gameplay Game operation here is unspeakable. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not the best uh, user English guide. But yeah, you get a USB cable. It's the old style bigger USB Type B or whatever it's called. And you also get the unit itself in a bag. I have actually opened this prior to making the video, but I thought I'd just do an unboxing video anyway. It's got a little warranty of 30 days as well. And there's a surprise gift for free apparently. So yeah, uh, here's the device itself, it's not too bad build quality actually, uh, all, the color, all the buttons are the same colour, they don't feel too bad though, uh, you get three buttons on the front, you get a battery compartment with a screw but the screw is not included and you get a, what looks like an old Nokia battery and you can also have the option of taking that out and putting three AA batteries in there so that's, that's useful if the battery stops holding its charge I suppose. But then batteries are common enough anyway. There's a charging port for the rechargeable battery and power switch and that's it. There's no TV out option on this, which a lot of these do have, but this one hasn't got TV out. I do apologise about the glare on the screen. And uh, let's turn it on. And as you can see, it starts up with this choice of English and Chinese language. You've got a button here what turns the volume up in three different steps. So let's start. Now here's the menu of all the games. Now sadly, uh, Super Mario Brothers is not on here. And you, there's no way as far as I can tell of adding more games. But there is some good classics on here. You've got Time to Turn Adventures, the R Double Dragon 2 and 3, but not 1 for some reason. Batman 1, which is a great game. It's got one of my, uh, some of my favourite music I've heard on the NES. So all these games are NES or Nintendo Entertainment System games. Here it is. Now, I do have to say, the emulation, well actually it's not emulation, if it's a NES on a chip I don't suppose, but yeah, the, it plays really well actually, for a cheap device. £15.98 it cost, or round about that. And yet the music is spot on and it's not slow or anything, there's no slowdown. So yeah, as you can hear, the music sounds perfect and the display is not too bad. You can't see it at angles, but if you're looking directly at it, it it's pretty good and bright and colourful. Uh, and yeah, you would have been the envy of all your mates if you had one of these back in the early 90s and, and uh, everyone else had a Game Boy and you had a Nintendo portable. Well, yeah, obviously that's not possible. Well, yeah, anyway, so we've got other games on here. There's a... Uh, uh, what we got? F1 race. Well, some of these games are sadly a repeat, so that's the only downside. It did say in the instruction manual that they're different versions of the game, but I think it's more likely that they're repeats. But yeah, he's a uh, Adventure Island, and uh, yeah, this is definitely a take on a uh, Wonder Boy from Sega. Uh, it's almost the same game by the looks of it. And yeah, plays really well. Like I said, there is a tiny bit of screen tearing, but not nothing that you can hardly notice. Uh, but uh, the emulation, well if it is emulation, I'm not sure if it's just an NES on a chip. Um, it, it's pretty spot on, it's, it's accurate, it does the job well, it's uh, a good uh, little Nintendo device. He's Double Dragon 2. And I'm not sure you would do two players on this, <laughs> I don't think you can. Um, but yeah. Sorry about shaking it a lot, I'm just bat batting them buttons to, to try and get bad of these baddies. Oh you fuck! So yeah, it's not too bad, nice little portable device. 
It's a shame you can't add more ROMs because that would be excellent. There might be a way, I don't know if you can connect a uh, serial emulate, serial device to the motherboard, I don't know, but someone would have to let me know on that. But um, if you want a cheap on the go NES, well, yeah, this is, this is, I think this is worth it to be honest because of how well it plays. Some games are in Chinese, sadly, like this Turtles one. I used to play this game a lot back in the day. Never got very far on it, to be honest. But yeah, it plays really well. The music's all there. It looks better in real life than it does on the camera, to be honest. Uh, the screen's got a protector, as you can see at the top left. I haven't taunt, uh, I haven't removed the protection on the screen yet. But yep, he's Mighty Bomb Jack. Not really that familiar with this game, it must have been an NES exclusive because this is not Bomb Jack as such, it's Mighty Bomb Jack. So like, sort of like a side scrolling Bomb Jack game. Can't be the classic original though. So, have a look at a few more games. Don't know what this is, Tetris WE or something? Oh, just a primitive Tetris clown. Yeah, so you can see, does it well. Let's have a look at Super Contra. This is a classic game, this is. Some of the uh, classic Nintendo style side-scrolling side arcade games. Yeah, so there's plenty of different different games to uh, keep you entertained for a bit. It's handy to take it on holiday or something if you don't want to take anything bulky. Obviously the ideal thing to take on holiday if you wanted to do some gaming on holiday is the Switch, probably. The Nintendo Switch, because that's portable as well. But yeah, anyway, so this is a £15 uh, Amazon device that I'm quite happy that I'll pay that much for it because it's, it's quite impressive for what it is. Some of these Chinese um, uh, clones of NES and Mega Drive and stuff, are, it's quite slow sometimes and got like, bad sound and stuff, but this is pretty impressive. And I thought I'd show you a quick little video on it and you can uh, buy one by typing in them keywords at the start of the video. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. See ya, thank you, bye. Goodbye!